If you think I'm exaggerating, watch closely. Listen to what is being done in the name of Satan. Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital, Vital, Vilk. Today we're going to be blasting Philadelphia's piss grave suicide euphoria. One of our local abandoned cemeteries. I love that mausoleum. And four of the sickest fucking individuals in Philly. Yeah. Amazing, amazing recording job by Authorist. The fucking man. Seriously, author fucking rules. Piss grave. Absolutely disgusting Philadelphia based death metal. But today we're going to travel across the country and talk about the Puss Rot self title on Head Split Records. Now, I'm not sure if this is a demo or a full length, but I was talking to Pierce Williams from Torture Rack, Blood Freak, etc. And he was Lord Gore, and he was, he's the one that sent this over via Head Split Records. Fuck yeah. And this was something I've actually been meaning to pick up. Like, kind of a, you know, a blind buy. And, um, yeah. So when I got these 21 tracks of just absolute fucking filth, I was so stoked. Like, seriously, I was just beyond impressed because, first off, these songs are awesome, grinding, dirty death metal. But the fact that it's a two-piece with just Neil and Pierce, and all of the drumming is improv. So every single blast beat, everything on here is just on the fly. Like, um, from what Pierce was telling me, Neil, who does guitar, bass, vocals, and noise, and when I say noise, I'm not talking about, like, you know, some harsh wall noise. I'm just talking about, like, some shit that fucks with your head and that I feel is very, very, like, prevalent in the um, Pacific Northwest scene just when it comes to capturing an atmosphere. And Pusrot do it in this really fucking just gross way, and it's awesome. I fucking love this stuff. And, um, yeah, 21 tracks of just gore-soaked fucking really messed up death metal. I, I love this stuff, seriously. Like, But um, one of my favorite things on here is just the simplicity. Like, recorded by Neil slash Brian, mastered by Jason, art by Neil, thanks to no one fucking sick I love the artwork like it's just you know DIY as fuck sick ass logo like the name of your band's Puss Rot I kind of you know know what I'm getting into with a band like this and that is awesomeness <laughs> like th this is some really really gory fucking death grind and it's awesome. Like, you could call it kind of whatever you really want. It does fall under the death metal umbrella. So, when it comes to subgenres, it's whatever. You can just throw a bunch of stuff at it. But it doesn't change the fact that this fucking kicks so much ass. And again, I'm not being biased if I thought that this was mediocre or anything along those lines. I would be like, Eh, eh, like check out, you know, some of these guys' other projects, but no. Puss Rot fucking rule. And that's really, you know, with tracks like Tongued, Unnecessary Surgery, Ritual Abuse, Malformed, and Suicidal, Adipursi, I have no idea what that word is, it's probably some disease, but 
my favorite track title, Sewer Meat, Kandaroo's Lament, Crippled Flesh, Love Wounds, Succulent, <laughs> succulent Leather, eh. Soft Skull, ah, oh, it's sick. Insects Crawling Through It, Bone Shrapnel, Wallowing in the Gutter, that's so sick. Slurp it. Sexual stigmata. Parts in jars. Beautiful carnage. My gift of agony. Scum slug. And open wide. 21 tracks of fucking grinding, crushing filth. Via Puss Rock. Like, I, I love it because it's fucking seriously like beyond heavy at points and then like I said due to the improv and like the improv when it comes to the drumming and stuff it's like holy shit what the fuck just happened and it really really creates this awesome replay value like I remember getting to the end of the 11th track and being like ah you know I didn't know the first time listening to it that this had a B side to it I just figured everything was on one side and I was dead wrong so you get 11 tracks and then the rest over here sick shit like I, I love it everything about this release right here it it's fucking great like it crushes in all the places it needs to crush. And most of all, like, besides the fact that the drumming is improvisational, the riffs, the vocals, and that bass tone. Oh my god, fucking infernal hails. It's so good. And the artwork, again. I love how the fucking, uh... Rotting Skull has the A side inside of his mouth and the B side inside of his mouth on the B side of the tape. I didn't notice that when I first threw it on the cassette deck. I just kind of looked at it and was like, oh, I love when they add like artwork to the actual hard shell of the cassette. So it was fucking sick, you know, like just seeing the overall presentation. Like, you know, you can't really go wrong with a black tape to begin with. But, Puss Rot and this self-titled right here is pure fucking heavy grinding death metal. That's probably the best way to describe this fucking beast right here. And these 21 tracks of fucking depravity. It's fucking sick. And Pierce Williams is in some of the just filthiest death metal bands in the game. So, you know you're getting some really awesome stuff here. And, uh, yeah. That's kind of the only inside info I have about this release. And, um, if you watched my Bonegasm episode, you saw how fucking hyped I was on, like, uh, Tongued. Just throwing this on completely, I just wanted to bang my fucking skull into oblivion. And with repeated listens, Puss Rot just hit a goddamn home run with this debut right here. Like, I was looking around for like a demo or anything like that, and then, uh, you know, just kind of the only thing I found on YouTube even was... I think the A side of this cassette. And that was it. No band camp, nothing like that. So I'll put the Headsplit Records link below if it still exists. I have no idea what this is limited to, but yeah, as of yesterday, Headsplit Records does still have copies available. But if you like your death metal, absolutely heavy. Filthy, fucking, just sick as hell. You can't go wrong with Puss Rot and this self-titled monster right here. It's everything you could possibly expect 
out of a band named Pusserat. Featuring a dude like Pierce Williams, like, fucking A. This is some awesome, awesome, filthy stuff that, you know, Head Split Records is known for releasing. And this fits so well in their discography. I would love to do a video on Head Split Records one day. I know I've gone over newsletters and stuff, but the next time I place an actual, like, $40 tape order, we'll do a video about how fucking rad Head Split Records is. The US version of Extremely Rot Productions, in my opinion. But I can't recommend Puss Rot enough to all you fucking maniacs out there. If you're a fan of death metal with like a just really, really dirty, grinding edge to it, like. Especially, also, if you're a fan of, like, some mortician, I definitely, when it came to some of the bass work on here, I just was thinking of Will Romer, and it might just be because, for some reason, right now, I feel like mortician has this new, like, resurgence of popularity, which is fucking cool, but half the time, it's like, do you really like Mortician, or are you just making a bunch of internet memes making fun of Mortician? Like, yeah, I know it's funny to see, you know, Will Romer holding a shotgun and stuff, but if you guys do a little bit of background checking, then you will know that in the mid-2000s, Mortician was doing a European tour, Everything seemed to be going as well as it could be for a mortician tour. But something happened with Will and he hijacked a taxi cab in like Istanbul or something like that. Some crazy country in Europe, I forget. It might have been Turkey. But it was some place where you do not want to get in trouble. He fucking, at knife point supposedly carjacked this taxi to take him to the airport. Will did some jail time and, and you know Mortician hasn't really been the same since. Like you have tons of reissues. The final bloodbath sessions it's like a greatest hits re-recorded with Roger on drums. But this video is not about Mortician, and that actually might have been before Will got arrested. I, I forget, and I don't care, because Mortician is touring again, and fuck yeah. I mean, you had Lord Gore open up for him. Pierce is part of Lord Gore. I'm not sure if Neil is. Again, I didn't really do my research too well. I should have, but I just wanted to go over the package Pierce sent over and how fucking good Puss Rod is on this self-titled on Head Split Records. This is another bad boy that I really, really hope, you know, gets to more ears out there because this fucking rules. But yeah, Puss Rod on Head Split Records. So fucking dialed. And Piss Graves, Suicide Euphoria on Profound Lore Records. Again, you can't go wrong here. This is just so fucking good. And yeah, you guys are the fucking best. Thanks for watching. And uh, as of the uh, Feather and Bone contest, by the way, I'm having some problems with my Instagram. It It's fucking being a pain in the balls. So, email me your demo, you know, submission. And that is brownpantszine at gmail.com. I will put it below. You have one full day left. And, yeah. I have a couple close contenders, though. So, you know, definitely get me those demo links. But, as always, you guys fucking roll. Thanks for watching. Hills.